guys from sunny Greece. I absolutely love coming to Greece in September. It's such a beautiful time of the year to come. So I just arrived in Greece with my brother. We are here with Expedia and Visit Greece on an exciting sponsored press trip and I really, really hope you're gonna enjoy this video. I've been coming to Greece for years and my family have always been the kind of people that like to book trips September, October as well and I just feel like Greece is like one of my favorite places to visit. So we are just getting ourselves organized and then of course the first stop is lunch. So let's go and eat Greek food is the best. On the way to lunch, we have found a secret little hidden beach. I love this about Greece. So beautiful. We found our favorite restaurant, so we're hoping we're gonna be able to get a table here. He was seriously gonna order a whole block of feta and I was like, you're ordering a Greek salad, you definitely do not need to order a block of feta on top. We can do that for dinner. Yum. Also, the tzatziki and pita was amazing. So we got a table and we ate at the Pan E Sulbaki. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm probably wrong. Absolutely divine. How good is that? My brother, by the way. Yeah. Hi guys. Go ahead. If you haven't met him before. Um, honestly. Got them sunglasses on, tell us why. <laughs> yeah, don't they look good? They look better on you actually. Yeah, I think that's one of the best cheap eats in Corfu. We love yeah, it, don't we? So we had to start with somewhere that we've been to before and actually some people from our hotel were sat next to us and they were like, oh my god, how do you guys hear about this place? And we were like, we've been told it's really good. So we're just going to wander around the town now. I literally love all the little shops in Corfu. So many cute little shops to take us home from. Grandma actually collects the eyes that they have dotted around everywhere in Greece. She has loads of them in her bathroom at home. Um, I'm thinking something to do with evil spirits. I'll have a look when I get home, but do comment below if you're Greek and can you tell me the actual meaning of them. Guys, I've got Kinder Bueno ice cream. That's literally my favorite ice cream to have. And I have Bounty as well. So good. Who's going for an ice cream? Um, in a cup, please. Oh, boring. I'd have got a cone. We just had the biggest lunch and honestly my brother loves ice cream so much we walked past the prettiest looking ice cream shop and I was like you want ice cream don't you? I was like do you have room? And he was like of course I've got room. the dream guys. How good does that look? He went for strawberry and chocolate. Weird combo but it worked. I do like chocolate strawberry. So we're just continuing to walk around the beautiful, it's kind of like the old town area of Corfu. It's just stunning to explore. So these sponges are in all shops in Greece and they are incredible for getting rid of just like fake tan and dry skin and everything. It's actually my grandma that first told me to get one and you can get them in all the little local shops in Greece. My mum also collects wind chimes in our garden and we definitely have some from Greece in our garden. They're so beautiful. We just found the shop with so many nice ones. This is such a cute little restaurant. How stunning. We found this one as well. All of these little restaurants tucked away. So beautiful. Coffee Old Town is so stunning. You have to come and explore this place. It's like winding streets with little higgledy piggledy windows and the nicest little restaurants tucked away. It's so beautiful. It's just, yeah, I love it. In true me style, I got changed. If you watch my travel vlogs, you'll know there's a lot of changing that goes on. Oh my gosh, I just found the most insane wedding venue I think I've ever seen. The most stunning little pink church. Wait until you see this. I want to get married here. So we've walked through the stunning little wedding church and now we're in this gorgeous garden and then we looked down and I think this is the most idyllic water and sea I've ever seen. I always say Should have brought swim shorts guys. I need tomorrow. to get swim tomorrow. I always say to people that we're so lucky that we live near to Greece because I love to travel so I'll go to America or Miami or wherever or Mexico and then I come to Europe and I'm like I'm so lucky that this is literally on our doorstep. It's just divine. Two and a half, three hour flight and here we are and it's just, I mean this little beach. Wow. 
So we are just gonna go and sit and have a little drink. We're hoping we can get into one of these gorgeous little ver veranda kind of taverna bars just on the edge of the ocean because the light is just so beautiful over the ocean. So let's see if we can go and have a nice little drink. So we just found a gorgeous little fun and we are just sat with this stunning view after finding my wedding venue <laughs> with this as the garden. Just having a fresh orange juice. I just love all of these gorgeous little bars dotted around the ocean. This is just beautiful, like the mountains and everything. It's just so stunning. We just had a lovely fresh orange juice and we're in this gorgeous dress. Another outfit change and now we are just wandering around old Corfu because we are going to find it somewhere nice for dinner. And also I love seeing towns when it's a bit darker as well. I think it's where all the atmosphere comes out as well. So we walked past the most gorgeous little restaurant today while walking through Old Coffee Town and one thing I absolutely love about British people is how nice they are. We got chatting to a guy and he said, come tonight. And we took the card and here we are. He recognised us tonight and even though they were super busy, he got us a table. So we love it. It's so beautiful here. Um, I was saying to my brother, share one with my brother because this is actually really romantic. <laughs> he needs to be with someone that he's dating and I need to be with Matt. But this is beautiful guys, so you should definitely come. Um, so so we've ordered this huge platter to start and then Adam's gone for a sea bass for Maeve and I've gone for another green salad. Great restaurant, right? Yes, mate. Oh, hello, cutie. Hello. You're so fluffy. Oh, you're so fluffy. So, the mains have come and Adam got a whole sea bass fillet to himself because I don't eat fishy fish. Um, I like my fish with I like my prawns, I like my scallops, I like my tuna. What else do I like? Mm, I'm a bit bad with that. I like shrimp. Oh no, that's prawns. I like um, squid, but I don't eat sea bass basically. And um, Adam loves his sea bass and he got a whole fillet. This is why you make friends with people in restaurants, you great. Good morning guys. So dinner last night was amazing. We're up bright and early to have some breakfast at our hotel. This hotel is really cute. It's called the LL. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a cute little boutique hotel that we booked through Expedia. So we're just going to have a nice little breakfast. We have no time because then we're heading straight on a flight and we are having some more exciting today. So let's eat. We have just landed in Kefalonia, so Corfu was short but sweet, but amazing nonetheless. We love Corfu, such a beautiful place. And when I go with my family, we usually do seven nights there, but I've had loads of messages from you guys on Instagram saying that you just did like 48 hours there. And it's one of those places that, yeah, you could do a week there, you could do two weeks there, or you could just do like 24, 48 hours. We didn't have much time there because now we are in Kefalonia. So we headed to Corfu Airport, quickly hopped on a flight. And what I would say is Greece is great for island hopping. I actually had no idea how good it was for island hopping, whether you get ferries, or boats or do what we've done and literally flown straight from Corfu to Kefalonia. We were also thinking should we fly to Zakynthos um, but we chose Kefalonia. There's so many amazing places you can fly to and from the UK you can go straight to Skiathos which is meant to be stunning as well. So let's go and eat because we like to eat and then make a plan. So the one thing we've been told about Kefalonia is that you need a car to get around so we're looking into potentially getting a driver tomorrow because we didn't actually hire a car. Um, we got a cab to the nearest little town called Sami and we are just having some amazing food. I've got a Greek salad, of course, so I'm gonna have one every day while I'm here. Some tzatziki, some garlic bread, and we're just sat, it's really calm and quiet here. And the guy at the hotel said we've chosen a great time to come because it's still really hot, but it's nice and calm. So yeah, we're also having a really late lunch as well because <laughs> we arrived quite late, our flight was a little bit delayed. Um, but yeah, let's eat. My brother went for spaghetti because, you know, when in Greece. <laughs> Hello. Bye. In Sami, all of the restaurants are kind of here along the harbour. Then you have the harbour here. So we're just going to wander around, get our bearings, and then hopefully we can organise a driver to take us to some of the spectacular beaches and things. So it's windy, but I hope you can hear me. We found our first beach. So Kefalonia is known for having the best beaches, and this is why people love to island hop around Greece. Just stunning hidden beaches. We found our first one here and it is just beautiful. It's a little bit windy but it's still really, really warm. I'm so impressed with how warm Greece is at this time of year. And then as I said, it's quite late. So we're then gonna try and head over to a lake. Don't know what time it's open till, but it's a really, really famous lake. So fingers crossed we can go and look at that as well. So because we don't have much time today, because it's obviously like later in the day, we 
what can we do so we're not wasting the day? So we've got a cab to Antistamos, I think that's how you pronounce it, beach, because Adam found it and said it was the nearest, like, most stunning beach to Sammy, and it's honestly idyllic. Wait until you see this. Also, it was probably really busy in the day, but like I say, the sun's kind of gone now, but it's still absolutely beautiful. Like, it's just like looking out on the heaven. Where's this going to here? I feel like it's going to be honest, because it's so relaxing and calm, and as it's just gone in, Amazing water ever. Hey guys, so we've had such a nice day today. Lunch was amazing, giving me all the Greek salads, and we went to a cute old school taverna which has been there for years and years and is highly recommended. I'm just obsessed with like meeting Greek people, family run restaurants, and the best food ever. And then tomorrow we have an exciting plan. We're gonna go over to the other side of the island and check out some epic things. Good morning, guys. Today is the day. We are gonna tackle this plan and go and see this island. So we have just spoken to the hotel and we're gonna get a driver because cabs are quite expensive in Kefalonia. We've decided to speak to them and they've given us like a bit of a bold deal. So it means that the driver will take us around all day and then we'll just pay a fee at the end. I would recommend hiring a car if you are gonna come here and rather than staying a resort all day, you wanna see loads of stuff like we are. If we had more time, we would have definitely hired a car, but I'm sure getting a driver to take us around will be amazing and we have a list of places to take off. So first stop, we're going to a very, very, very famous beach, which we'll take you to now, and it's meant to have the most insane views over the beach. So we've just arrived. I think you pronounce it Mytos, Myrtos Beach. I'm gonna put the spelling here because my Greek is not the finest. So we just drove from these amazing hilltops up there, and then afterwards we're gonna go up and show you the view from the bottom because it is stunning. Quite a lot of people said to us, oh, don't come to the beach at the bottom, just look at the view at the top. But how could you not come to this beach? It's so beautiful with white sands. This is a beach that people have said is just like the Maldives. <laughs> it's so pretty. We were just soaking up some rays whilst our driver is just kind of parked behind us on the beach. Um, this beach, Mytos Beach, again, I think I might be pronouncing it wrong, it's actually one of the best beaches in Europe. I would actually say it's probably one of the most beautiful in the world, to be honest. I have been to some stunning beaches, beautiful white sand, and it's actually stuck between two mountains, which is pretty surreal, and the water is just so stunning. And it's actually really calm here as well, really hot, but really calm, which is so nice. It's just not that busy at all. Tell me what you wanna do. Come closer to the mountains and some little caves behind me. And it's honestly so idyllic on this beach. We found some caves. Wow. How stunning is this? So we are now just at the top point, which is literally insane. So the beach was at the bottom. This is the beach that we were just sat at. And gosh, I do not want my phone to fall off this cliff. And look at that. That is just the most insane view I've ever seen. I did a little outfit change, not that you guys care, because the view is way better. Just look at that. So we thought that you'd stop on those paths, but actually this is like a legit viewing point. I've never seen anything like it. So yeah, this is the beach that we were just sat on. Look at the colour of that water. Look at this view! So now we're saying goodbye to this insane view and we are going to head to a place called Asos. I mean, I pronounce Asos as in the clothing website ASOS, but I'm assuming because we're in Greece this is called Asos. How cool that there's a place called Asos. So it's just like a little village that we're going to have some lunch and it's about half an hour from here. So we're going to drive there, but say bye to this view. How insane! This little town here. That's a cool. We have found the busiest, most gorgeous little village called Assos. It is called Assos, the driver told me. And oh my gosh, it's just full of like cute little tavernas that are rammed full of people just enjoying their day, their Monday. And oh my gosh, this is just so stunning. It's like just a little town in the bottom of the mountain. Wow, look at the colour of those houses. I think we got the best spot in the house for lunch. Let me show you. This is divine. We are literally just sat 
on the throne with the ocean behind us and all the cute little houses. It's like Balamori, but Greek style, so way better. This is just so cute. You guys, if you visit Greece, please come to like a cute little island like Apollonia and Island Top and get a car and see different things like this. It's so different. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's so different staying in a resort, which I do love. It's so nice to get out and explore cute little towns like this. This is my dream menu. Fried cheese, tomato balls, zucchini balls, fried zucchini, fried aubergines, fried peppers, grilled peppers, feta cheese, grilled traditional cream cheese, grilled feta cheese. I got, what do you think I got guys? A Greek salad, of course. Because my lunch is basically loads of bread, loads of tzatziki, and a Greek salad my brother got is sylvaki. Looks like a really good chicken sylvaki. And um, I was just saying, I think I might have said this on the vlog already, but tomatoes are so much better in Greece. They are the freshest tomatoes. And I would never just sit and eat a bowl of tomatoes at home, but in Greece I'm like, give me tomatoes. And guys, if you've never tried tomato balls, please order them next time you come and visit somewhere like Catalonia because they are divine. They get the end seal of approval. Turned around and I've got a little friend. Hello. Hello, just sunbathing. Not bothered about the camera at all. Just happy to sunbathe. Wow, three cats. Hello. Hello. Now we're just walking around this beautiful little area. So we're just walking up a little hill so that we can get the view of the beautiful Assos town behind us. It feels so weird saying Assos. When I was younger, I used to call it ASOS, ASOS, and it just feels weird that there's a town called this. The town obviously came before the shopping website, <laughs> and the town village, I'd say village, is just so cute. It's just perfect. Just look at those steps. Just little cute finds everywhere. And we came around the other side, and look at this view. This is insane. The view of the little village is cute, but this is just out of this world. Kind of reminds me of like in Santorini where there's like a volcano. This is just insane. Lunch, we were saying, how do you get to the little hidden beach? And look, we found it. We are on it. Put on some steps, and here we are. is Pescado Bay, I want to say, but this is basically the village town of Pescado. So many people recommended this. One of my friends, Josie, messaged me, just like, you have to go, it's my favorite place, and it's meant to be good for dinner, and I feel like it's gonna get quite um, lively on an evening, so I'm excited to see. It's about 4 p.m. now, so nice way to end the day here. True me style, I can't get anywhere without trying out the food first, so we're gonna get some frozen yogurt and sit with this stunning of you. Whoa. <laughs> We found a place with fresh Greek yogurt frozen. Mm. So that's what we got, and I topped it with everything. <laughs> so the food stop was necessary. Now we're just walking around Scardo again, and probably not pronounced it right. And it's stunning, gorgeous little seats everywhere. It's just very Greek with the gorgeous views, but it's so quaint as well. This place is such dinner goals. How insane is the decor? Everywhere you look in Greece, they have little hidden beaches and it's so spectacular. And we were just saying how kind of untouched everywhere is and beautiful and so calm, even though there's a great atmosphere and there are people here, everywhere just seems so calm. She's using my mum a little wind chime for the garden because she collects them and she loves anything with hearts on and seashells and these are so beautiful and I absolutely love little independent Greek shops for gifts. I think this one's the nicest because she likes red hearts and it's got shells on it as well. Typical, I've chosen one right at the back for her. Got my mum a little handmade gift. Lots of the things in this area of Greece are all made with olive oil wood, apparently. There's also a really cute little spa behind me, which looks so nice. I'm definitely gonna book in for a treatment if I come back here. Wow, we found the most insane flower area. This is beautiful. Wow. Or 
course we feel like telling you to drive it or hiring a car so you can see everything in minimal time although we still feel chill we still did loads and we had the nicest time this car it's beautiful so I'm just to see and do that and I would definitely stay there personally if I came back to visit this area I will be coming back my mum's already frankly googling it on Expedia as we speak because she wants to book to come here so on the drive back and the reason I'm vlogging is because you should see this view enough of me talking look at this view we were just on the road driving back to our hotel and we found this little honey stall which is by the side of the road and loads of people on Instagram said to me if you find roadside honey go and see it so we're here and I just love supporting businesses like independent businesses in places like Greece so we're gonna go and have a look this is honey and the same this in a lemon honey oh wow lemon honey thank yeah. you it did look <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh yeah that's really good you like very yeah nice. very nice really good mm. oh wow i've never tried lemon honey before Give them thank you you want Next oh, one. <laughs> no, I actually got to say. This time, honey. Normal honey. No. Yeah, very good. Oh. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I got loads. That's good. No, very good. <laughs> good work. <laughs> this is a fix very good place. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, wow. No. Wow. You got big there. That's so good. Good? Strong. Incredible. Yeah. Which one shall we get? Oh my gosh. Hair on top of the head. You know it's been a good day when Em puts her hair on top of her head. It means it's greasy and she's been in and out of the sea and been sweating around. So, the little honey shack. Thank you to you guys that told me to find one and go there. The guy that ran it was the cutest. Legends taste all the honey and I love buying local things. So we got fresh honey and fresh olive oil because my boyfriend can't be here and he loves Greek salad so I've got him this to put on his Greek salad. So today has been absolutely amazing. If you come, when you come to Kefalonia, you have to get either a driver or just like find a taxi driver and ask if they can drive you around on an hourly rate or just get a car because this place is amazing. But the thing is, I feel like it's waste if you just stay in one area. There are so many amazing places to see and do. That's a great thing about Greece. You can literally island hop, so you could come to Kefalonia for three days and you could go to Zakynthos. There are so many places you can get boats in between. Yeah, you guys need to check it out. I'll leave the link below for the Expedia website so you can check it out. So I would highly recommend going to Myrtos Beach, which is where we went this morning. It's out of this world. I want to spend a whole day there next time. Then going down to Assos for lunch, which is the most stunning little colourful town. So picturesque. Then after you've been there, uh, head over to Fiscardo, which is oh, just the nicest kind of area for dinner and stuff. So I would definitely recommend staying there and then having dinner there. So yeah, I feel like I need to come back to Catalonia, but I'm very excited to have had such a lovely day. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna head out for some dinner in a nearby village this evening. Just playing a game of yacht spotting. <laughs> we figured out who owns this. I'm not gonna tell you guys for privacy reasons, but we know the person who owns this yacht and we saw them today. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna wash my hair tomorrow morning and I'm wearing this dress. We are just at a restaurant called Deco, which is meant to be really good. And we got a taxi here from the hotel and it was so funny because it was the guy that drove us around all day today who was phenomenal. And he was like, yeah, that's a really good restaurant. And we were like, thank you, nice to see you again. And then as we were getting out of the taxi, another lady was like, excuse me, can I get your card? And I said to her, I was like, he's phenomenal. We've had him all day, he's really good. And she was like, I'm not gonna use him all day, but I need a reliable, safe driver. And I was like, he's your guy. Look at me, just touting out the local taxi drivers. So yeah, we're just sat in the most beautiful little area. I brought my big camera and typical me, left my battery on charge. Why am I like this? Oh, it's like you're spreading Nutella, except for you're definitely not spreading Nutella. Is that someone playing music live? Oh my God, it is. <gasps> wow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love Greece. So for lunch, we had tomato fritters and now zucchini fritters. He was like, what's zucchini? It's courgette. Just got some boiled greens as well because we're literally living on satsiki and bread at the moment because <laughs> we love Greek food. So we thought we'd try some Greek boiled greens. How did you find the zucchini fritters? 
Mm. Yeah, really good. Which wins, tomato or zucchini? I think the tomato for me. Yeah, because they're just a bit more um, soft. They're a bit softer. Yeah, really good. Very, um, I don't know, quite heavy, like fried. Quite heavy, you think? Mm. Good though. Have some greens to balance it out. So I got grilled squid because I honestly love grilled squid. I never have it in the UK, but wow, this looks very fresh. And we got some greens. Adam is just waiting on some sea bass, so he's eating sweet potato. Good morning. So there was a little thunderstorm this morning, which is so funny because the whole rest of the month is just fantastic weather. But I feel like I bring thunderstorms and rain with me wherever I go. But the sun is out today, you know what they say. Sunshine always follows the rain. So now we are just wandering around, trying to find somewhere nice for breakfast. We want to find somewhere really nice and local for breakfast. We had the best hotel breakfast in Corfu. I don't think anything's going to top that. I love like a good hotel breakfast. <laughs> um, and it was a really nice independent hotel. So we're just wandering around this area but there's not actually much here. We're trying to avoid getting another taxi to Sammy. So we're trying to see if any of these tavernas do breakfast. That would be fantastic. I'd love to sit in like a Greek taverna and have some breakfast, see what their traditional Greek yogurt is like. So let's see if we can find somewhere. Look how cute this is. Traditional Greek taverna and it's just on a lake like this. How divine. How is this the view from breakfast? How insane. An omelette for Adam, some honey, some bread for me, literally a whole loaf of bread. And then the second course, the Greek yogurt with honey. Hello. People go to places like Lake Como and I feel like this is just even better. How insane. So that was a really cute little taverna and I had my Greek yogurt and my bread and lots of Greek honey and we could have sat outside but it was a little bit damp but it's nice and dry now and everyone's come out for the day. So what a lovely way to start the day. So we're just gonna have a little wonder around this area. So we've now found this cute little lake. So this is a taverna behind me that we ate at. Literally tucked away on the seafront and now we found this cute little lake with loads of ducks. Good morning, hello. We are revived after that delicious traditional Greek breakfast. The yogurt was amazing. I ordered it from the dessert menu. I was like, can I get some Greek yogurt? So we didn't really do breakfast and some bread. And they were like, yeah, of course. So we are now just walking to the Melisani, I think you pronounce it, cave, which is meant to be out of this world. It's like a lake in a cave. The lady at the hotel said it might not be okay to go in because of the weather so fingers crossed because the weather is getting good I'm wearing a shirt shouldn't have done that because i'm actually quite warm so let's hope that they have their little boat trips on today and we can head in water of the lake 15 45 feet is the deep here of the lake 15 meters you must actually have yeah. eh? english okay yeah yeah okay yeah i'm greek ah, okay. <laughs> This water coming from the another side of the island, from Argostovic. The Argostovic is uh, 30 kilometers west from here, and the water is mixed. Salt water and fresh, salt and fresh. And 15 degrees Celsius cold. We went into the cave. What did he just say? Tell the vlog. Literally one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> there we go. You heard it from him first. So loads of people told us to visit the lake and we headed there and it was insane. So you line up for maybe 15 minutes. It was really busy, but then they put so many people on boats and you go through the most amazing cave and the roof fell in, which is why it looks how it does. And it was just amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was incredible. The water's so deep as well. He was telling us about all the depths and I think it ranges from like one meter deep to maybe 30 meters, which is like crazy. And the water's just crystal clear the whole way. Yeah, I've never seen water so clear. It's insane. We were saying we wish we could swim there. They used to have a point at the top where you can actually look down and view it like a viewpoint, but it's too dangerous because it's so old. I swear he said some of it was 2000 years old. Um, it was just insane. And it's really informative as well. So you guys should definitely go and do that. There's so much to do on this island. So now we're gonna get in another cab and we are gonna head over to the main capital of the island which we're very excited about. 
The sun is back out. Got my bikini on. So we need to remember that spot that he just dropped us off at. The driver that we had the other day, he must be like the driver for our hotel because when they booked us a taxi, it was him again. He's been great. He said that he'll drop us off here and then he's going to pick us up late. We're just going to give him 30 minutes notice, which is great because when you're on an island without your own car and you kind of in the middle of nowhere, far away from your hotel, it's nice to know that you can actually get back to your hotel. So we're in the capital, which is called Argostoli, probably pronouncing it wrong again, and we are just gonna start with some lunch, of course, and then do some exploring. And we feel like we have some luck because the weather is beautiful again now. We just found the coolest little looking bakery behind us, so we're gonna head in. So apparently, they do traditional desserts, not that I have room for one yet, but I love looking at any like bakery. So, we just found a little shopping street in this area. Some really cute little shops here. I feel like it might be a little bit late now because quite a lot of things are closed, but the ones that are open are very cute. Guys, this is meant to be a really famous and really, really good Greek restaurant. Apparently, this is one of the best restaurants for locals rather than tourists. So if you are ever in this area, definitely check them out. So Adam came up with the idea that we should go to a beach and we put it into Google Maps and we're like, let's walk towards a 30 minute walk. But then we actually flagged a taxi down and not our taxi driver who we love. We flagged like a different taxi driver down to take us to one nearby. And he was like, guys, I'll take you to the best beach. So he's brought us to somewhere called Costa Costa Beach. Wow, you can hear the crickets called Costa Costa Beach. So guys, this looks out of this world. So yeah, Greece definitely has some of the best beaches in the world. Look at that. How insane is this little beach for the taxi driver to help us find? I cannot take any credit for it. And then the setting as we're here. It's so beautiful. looking like a dishevelled mess after the most amazing beach afternoon. It wasn't even an afternoon, it was a beach sunset evening. We officially found the best beach ever. Oh, this is sick, honestly. Everyone talks about Myrtos Beach, which is divine. It's quite hard to get there. It's like, you need to go to um, with Costa Costa Beach. Oh my God, it was unbelievable. There are rankings actually on this trip. They're all very different. We liked Costa Costa because it was like an easy beach to get to. You could easily like get a taxi there and back. Safety first, guys. And the sand was amazing. And then we also liked Myrtos Beach because it was just divine. That was like the more deviant one, but very pebbly, but still divine. And they were in caves, so it's spectacular. And the other one that we love, what's it called? Um, Antisimos Beach. Oh my god, yeah. insane. Well, we so like good. First day, Every beach on this island is just the best. Basically, Ephronia has the best beaches ever. <laughs> so, we are back at our local because it's the restaurant, well, pretty much the only restaurant near our hotel, and it's just divine. So, we are talking into our last feast for an appetite shock. Another Greek salad for me. Good morning, guys. Yes, I'm wearing the same t shirt dress as I wore yesterday because it's very comfy. So, last night we ended up going back for dinner to the taverna that we went on pretty much the first night just because it's one of the closest places to our hotel and it's in a walking distance. And I got talking to the girl who was serving us. She said it's a family run business, it's her, her mum, and her dad. Her dad's a chef. Her mum is a waitress and so is she and they all run the business together and it was so lovely. I really hope you can hear me through this wind. It's a windy but gorgeous hot morning this morning. No storms here. And she, it was just lovely to meet someone that has a family run business and I think, as I said earlier, one of the coolest things about staying somewhere that's kind of out of the way is that we actually haven't been going to any tourist traps. We've been going to like such local, authentic restaurants and stuff where they really rely on locals or I guess people like us to go and eat there and it was just amazing. So it was so nice to meet them and talk to them and I just love trying like really authentic places. So we are just going to spend our final morning by a little beach and then we have a flight to catch. I'm back in my room, freshly moisturised, I just put loads of Neutrogena Hydro Boost on, a super hydrating one so I can 
hopefully my skills are a bit brown and fly because I've got a lot of lights recently. So thank you so much for watching this vlog and thank you so much Expedia for this amazing trip. It's been the nicest trip. I've always loved Greece as I say, but it's so nice to come somewhere different and the amount of you guys in my DMs on Instagram who said, I'm going to Catalonia now. That is so, so, so cool. So we were so lucky to do Corfu in Catalonia. Sad I didn't get to do Skiathos, but honestly, there are so many amazing islands you can hop to in Greece. So next time I'm definitely going to hop on a flight to Kynthos as well. Just so many gorgeous places to see and hop all around Greece. And obviously September, I mean, great weather. It's so hot. So happy. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Come say hi on Instagram at mshellx and big, big, big love.